Welcome back to PRI. I'm the coach of Prep Recruiting Insider, Rick Gailey, welcoming you back along with our insider, Mr. Rene Nato. And here we have a special guest today during this segment, Dr. Tony Melito of Winning Actions. Tony, thank you for being here on Prep Recruiting Insider. Thank you, guys. I'm happy and excited to be with you all. Great. We're going to talk about the mental aspect of sport. I came from a golf background as a competitor, not so much football, so I know about how important the mental side of the game is. Won't you tell us what you do, Tony, and, uh, and what Winning Actions is all about? Sure. Winning Actions is a mental training system that applies sports psychology and sports hypnosis to help athletes perform at their best. So um, that's basically the essence of it. I, um, it's more coaching uh, about different mental skills and all about helping kids to enhance their performance. You've coached on both the high school and college level, uh, Tony, and, and something I wanted to ask you, a lot, of, a lot of players going through recruiting for the first time, all of a sudden they have a big name coach knocking on their door, a big name program, and it not only affects the player, the, the, the family, the extenuating family and everything else, uh, it, it's kind of tough sometimes when a recruit has to go through the process because it's fun for a while, but it gets to be very, very tough and pressure on a lot of people. Sure. I think um, what parents and athletes can do regarding the pressures of recruiting is to learn how to manage their expectations. And when I talk about expectations, I'm talking about the strict demands that they place on themselves regarding performance or outcomes and scores. And those expectations typically puts a lot of pressure on a parent and the kid. And if their expectations aren't met, then they left feeling disappointed, frustrated, angry. So what needs to happen is for parents and athletes to replace these strict expectations with process goals, focusing on the process, on the here and now, what's going on with things that they can control. For example, um, I know Will Clapp last year, who mm -hmm. plays for LSU, uh, I having a conversation with him, he said at the beginning of every football season, it's hectic and he feels overwhelmed. But the mental skills he learned through winning actions enabled him to manage and cope with that pressure, not only on the field, but off the field. So what's important is by paying attention to the process of making good grades, by paying attention to developing those uh, relationships, those personal friendships, that's gonna give you a sense of well-being, keep you kind of balanced and grounded when those pressures are on you. Learning how to enjoy your family life. So the suggestion I would give the parents and athletes is learn how to manage those strict expectations, focus on process goals, on things you can control, things in the here and now. And that's true on the field and off the field. People are somewhat familiar with the term sports psychology, but when the term sports hypnosis uh, comes out, uh, it has a different connotation in, uh, in reality in what, in what you do, that heightened state of awareness that uh, people would, not, would normally get in their mind when they hear the, the term hypnosis. Won't you talk to us about what, what that term means, sports hypnosis, and how it applies? Sure, I see sports hypnosis as a subspecialty of sports psychology they really complement one another. In hypnosis, it's a tool to help athletes perform at their best. So hypnosis is learning how to use your mind to perform at your best. And what's important is people need to become students of their mind and their body. And once they understand how that unconscious mind works, and hypnosis is a tool to help that unconscious mind, and you wanna program that unconscious mind so that your performance is automatic. So it's really a tool. It's, um, it's moving from one state of mind to another. It's a state of relaxation. And it's all about programming yourself. It's the same thing as imagery, but a little bit different. You know, the hypnosis is, is a deeper um, programming than let me just do some imagery work. Let me just image and visualize something. So um, they kind of complement one another. They really do. And hypnosis is not like, um, you know, a lot of people think of stage hypnosis. Okay, I'm going to get you to quack like a duck and act like a fool. Uh, that's not the way it is. Right. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. So it, it's really not much to, um, you know, the, the, to fret about. Nothing like, okay, this is something that's strange. A lot of my athletes, they love it. 
it's productive. Once they experience it, I mean, they want to keep doing it. That's true in, in a team situation and in individual contacts. Tony, you know, you can't make Rick and I run four three forties. Correct. But the, the preparation, the mental preparation, the right frame of mind for an athlete means an awful lot. And that's something that I know you, you were talking about a second ago. How important is that? You know, it's really important, you know, especially for high school kids. They don't have those mental skills, especially to perform under pressure. You know, they get a lot of reps, you know, a lot of physical reps. But, you know, they don't spend much time on the mental game. You know, it's important to have that right frame of mind. So what's important is how do you use your mind? How do you understand how the mind works? So a lot of athletes, they need to learn how to talk to themselves appropriately. It's got that internal dialogue that happens, that occurs. And as you have that internal dialogue, you're creating these mental images in your mind about what you're saying to yourself. And those images and that dialogue becomes the blueprint for your success and your performance on the athletic field. So it's really important, you know, knowing how your mind works, knowing how to be prepared, knowing how to look at different situations that might come up in a game uh, situation and that, okay, you've already been there and done that. You're automatically responding to what you're already programmed that unconscious mind to do. So those mental skills are really important, knowing how to prepare for a game, knowing how to use your mind and what are those mental skills during the week of practice. And then it's different for game day, exactly what you do with the mental game. So there's a bunch of nuances that could go all over the place. That's right, because in, in our practice schedules at St. James, I made sure I had uh, within that train your brain and strain your brain uh, right. that we would train uh, the brain during the, the regular practice schedule that they had they had to uh, u utilize uh, those skills but also throw them situations that they had to solve strain your brain because yes. you can in fact train your brain just like you can any part of your body quick tony tell us how people can get in touch with you online they can go to winningactions.com my phone number is uh 837 0607. So, um, yeah, go online, see winningactions.com, see what the program is, how um, systemic it is, and how comprehensive uh, winning action system can provide for them. Great. We're not talking about magic here, folks. We're talking about training at the highest level because if your mind can believe, your mind can achieve if it's focused in the right direction. Thank yes, you for sir. being here with us today. Dr. Tony Melito, a great sports psychologist. Winning actions, we will be right back to wrap things up here at NOLA Motorsports Park, PRI.